Hello guys, I see a lot of you are here. Thank you. So hi Jessalika. Hi Living Better with Style Rucker. Hi Journey. Hi Tiffany. I've been good. I took a little break from YouTube the past couple of days in general. So how is everyone doing? Hi, brown girl Bella. How are you? How's everyone day going? I actually missed you guys. Hi, Violet Rural Beauty. Hi, Taylor. I miss not posting videos for you guys, but I really needed a break. And the break was worth it. So, you know how we do things here. I'm going to tell you who the featured channel is. Then I'm going to tell you what we're doing tonight. And if you can share me out. Please do so if you're able to do so. And I appreciate you guys doing that. So our featured channel for tonight is the creative Creo. She does a whole. Um, were you? Shannon, I'm not sure if this question is for me, but I was not in Vern's live today. I actually missed her live because I was working on the game for you guys. So I really I missed her live, but I'm pretty sure I'm glad you're back, Journey. I'm pretty sure Vern's live was great. I'm pretty sure she touched on some things that are going on on YouTube. And hi, hi, Seeker. How are you? Hi, Eat to Live Strong. I appreciate all of you being here. And I'm going to share the link because you know how we started. Start, we start all my lives this way. For anyone that wants to come up and share something about their channel. Let us know about something positive going on in their life. Or just has something they want the rest of the family to know. And then after that, we will get started. So you guys let me know if you have anything that you want to say. And we're going to get started. I'm going to pull up the stream on the iPad so I can see you guys' comments. So does anybody have something that they want to share on the screen? Let me know. Click the link, or if you do not want to come up on stage, you can just type it in the chat. Am I missing something? Guys, I don't know what's been happening on YouTube the last couple of days. The information... I got this morning when I was in the Crockerways Live. Most of you were there about you can't click on someone's channel from just clicking the three dots. That's what I mostly know, but I've been spending the last two days off of YouTube just regrouping and other things, so I don't know what's going on, 
but we're gonna have some fun. So if you guys don't have anything you want to share, let me know and just let me know if you're ready for the game that we're going to play. Just type ready for the game if you're ready and everything will be all right. Okay, well, Taylor says ready, so I'm assuming everyone is ready. So, guys, we are going to play Jeopardy today, and I'm going to let me know if you guys can see this, because I've never made a PowerPoint before to put on the screen. So, I'll snap. I didn't share the screen. So, here we go. It's okay. Now I'm going to share my entire screen so you guys can see this. Can you guys see the PowerPoint? Let me know. On my end, you guys can see the PowerPoint, but if I miss something, let me know. Yeah. Eat to live strong. Thank you for giving me a gift. So, this game is not finished. Only one, four categories are... Um, Four categories are up. Okay. So I made this on PowerPoint. It was my first time making this. So I don't know how well it's going to work. But we will cross our fingers. This is my version of the music edition of Jeopardy. So here's how this is going to work. Some of these questions are multiple choice. Some of them are not. Thank you, Brown Girl Bella. So you guys are going to type in the chat. The first one I see, I'm going to choose the category. You're going to tell me the dollar amount and the category you want to choose. Then after I read the question, you guys are going to type in your answers, but you get three chances to answer the question before I reveal what the answer is. And the prize for this is that when I go live on Saturday, whoever wins gets to choose the topic that we discuss. Does everyone understand the rules? Let me know if everyone understands what we are doing. Ethan Lee Strong says yes. High Seeker says yes. So, The 2010th category, once the screen clicks over, is unavailable because I did not have time to finish the 2010s category. So the 2010s category is off limit. Every other category and every other dollar amount is in play. So, so when you guys are ready, Type in your category and the dollar amount, and we will get started.
So you guys have to type in your dollar amount and what category you want to choose. He says 90s, 200. High Seeker. Okay, High Seeker has picked a question. And hopefully, this works. Oh, that's actually the answer to the question. So, that question is no longer available. I put the question backwards. So we're going to go back and do this again and somebody else and said, yeah, some Taylor says she wants to do 70s, 100. So we can do that. So 100 is here. Taylor tried. Okay. So it says, let's start easy and get the British invasion out of the way in the 1960s. Some of these questions might be backwards, but it's okay. We, we've gotten a lot to let it go and let it be. Which band were Probably you've heard of them release their final album in May of 1970, a month after they officially broke up. So there's the question and you guys get three tries to answer the question before I reveal the answer. And, okay, everybody sang the Beatles. Does anybody else want to try? Does anybody else have an answer? Somebody said Temptations. Okay, we have Beatles, Temptations. That seems like the consensus. And we're gonna find out Brown Govella said, what is the Beatles? So if the Beatles is the correct answer, living better with styles will win this question. And she is right. And we have the Beatles. So Living Better has got the answer right. I'm just going to write this down in my phone so I remember. So let me find my notes. In Living Better, I forgot to ask, are you feeling better today? Okay. Did my mouse disappear? Oh no. It did not. So my mouse did not disappear. So we're going to try this again. Go from the beginning. And who's going to choose? Or somebody has to choose our next category. We say eighties one hundred. Okay. This says, what hit song by the Kirks have been these li lyrics that were the big band used to come and play My Sisters Went There on Saturday. 
You're welcome. So does anyone want to take a shot at the question? You have to figure out what hit song has these lyrics. And it gives you the artist. So you're just going to guess. Just start throwing out songs. You guys know it's an 80s song. You guys want to skip this question? Because I'm not seeing you guys a comment. Taylor says, come dancing. Does anybody else want to guess? Ethan is wrong, says, come dancing. Then we'll see. So if Taylor gets it right, And Taylor is right. The answer is come dance it. So congratulations, Taylor. For getting questions. <laughs> yes, she did. So, when you guys are ready to pick a category, type it in. Need to live strong says 8300. So, your 8300 question is what 19 what 1983 Tom Cruise movie featured Bob Saget, Bob Sage, old time rock and roll? So there's your question. What Tom Cruise movie featured the Bob Seger old time rock and roll? Okay, I see Top Gun. I'm going to wait for more guesses before Top Gun. Okay, I'm going to wait for some other people to guess, even though it's easy. Okay, Taylor says Risky Business. Okay, I'm going to reveal the answer now. And Taylor is right. The answer is risky business. Mm -hmm. So congrats to you, Taylor. So, we are ready for the next, for someone to pick the next category. Since Taylor got the risky business question correctly.
I'm just taking the first comment. Okay, someone said 90s, 200. So. so the next question is on the screen, and this time it's a multiple choice question. Martin Page's song in the house of stone life got to number 14 on the billboard charts 100 in 1995 in the 1980s in the early 90s martin page co-wrote several songs with of these songs does not bear a co-write credit for martin page the choices are The Dreams by Heart, We Build the City by Starship, King of Fruition, Wishful Thinking by Go West, or Eye of the Tiger by The Survivor. Yep. Yep, Eye of the Tiger is the correct answer. So Tiffany gets a point. You guys can choose a category now. Okay. I see 70s, 300. In which year did these songs all appear on the, at the number one, number one on the Billboard charts? Blind Side, Blinded by the Light, Dancing Queen, Hotel in California, You Light Up My Life, Hmm? Nope. No, this is the 70s category question. So for this answer, you have to give me the year that you think all those songs appeared on the chart. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. 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 Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so you guys' answers are starting to roll in. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal the answers since three of you answered already. 1977. is the answer to the question, so no one gets the point. Most of you guys were close. Okay, I see 70s, 200. It says, 
friends, this beautiful song was written by Roger Nicholas and Paul Williams was intentionally featured in a TV advertisement for Crocker's Bank in the 1970s. The Carpenters recorded a version of this song and it has become their second million selling single. Can you name it? So what is the Carpenter song, guys? So I'm looking for the Carpenter song. Okay, I see someone saying bridged over troubled water. I'm going to wait for some few more guesses before before I reveal the answer. So I'm going to wait for two more guesses from some people before Only just begun. I'm going to wait for one more person to guess before I reveal it. Or I'm going to give it another minute before I reveal the answer. Okay. Minute go. And Taylor was right. The answer is we only just begun. So Taylor is good at this. But so is everyone else. So congratulations, Taylor, to you for answering the question. You guys can... Choose your next category in dollar amount. Okay, my mother's playing from the background, so she chose for you guys. She chose the 90s 100. If the link will work, for some reason it's not working. Oh, there we go. And the question is from the category my mother chose. She chose 90s 100. In 1999, who had a number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 chart with Genie in a Bottle? Yes. You're not in the chat. My mother's in here telling me she won, but she's not in the chat. But she did get the answer right. So, you guys have to guess the artist. Okay, one person took a shot. I'm going to give it like... Two more minutes for someone else to take a shot if we get three answers already. Oh, we got three answers, so I'm going to just reveal the answer. And Living Better with Styles Rucker was right with Christina Aguilera. She was correct. So right now, as it stands... Back. Let's 
choose your category. Okay, we have a 90s 300. Okay, this is a multiple choice question. Natalie Merchant from the band 1000 Mechanics pursued a solo career in the 1990s. Her album Tiger Lily had three singles that were in a commercial success on on the US chart. Which one of these songs from the album was about God's own creation? You guys can just pick your multiple choice answer on this one. Okay, I see someone saying 2,100, but no one's answered this question yet. Or attempted to answer it. And your multiple choice answers are carnival, jealousy, I may know the words or wonder. Taylor says wonder. I don't know. Let's see if we can get other people to answer. And I'm going to wait a second to see if we get more answers because I know YouTube is having a delay issue. At the moment, Um, since Taylor answered the question and she's the only answer I see, I'm just going to reveal the answer. And Taylor's right with wonder. We already have our next question, 2,100. Okay, which artist recorded the song, The Remedy? Remedy. So this time you have to give me an artist. Okay, we're gonna hear from other people answer. <laughs> Hello, J Bless YT Gaming, how are you? We are playing Jeopardy, and I asked the question. As you can see on the screen, which artist? Okay, since Taylor's the only one answering, I'm just gonna reveal the quest answer to the question. I am good over here, and I'm glad you're doing well. And Taylor is right with Jason Mraz. So 
when you guys are ready, you can choose a category. You can choose anything left on the board except for the 2010s, because I did not have time to finish that column. And all the ones you see blanked out in purple, we have already answered. So when you guys are ready, let me know what you choose. Okay, I think it is to 200. Okay. Question is, what was the first album ACDC released after the death of singer Bon Scott? And we are looking for the ACDC album. I just really go. So guys, even if you don't know the answer, it's good to take a guess. So I just say guess and see what you guys come up with. Okay, Taylor says back in black. Does anyone want to guess before I just reveal the answer? Okay, well, since no one else is guessing, Taylor's right with back in black. Choose a category. Okay, you guys don't. Okay, Ethan Strong, don't burn whatever in the oven. Um, just Alika 70s 300 has already been blocked out on the board. So choose another category, please. Okay, Tiffany says 70 is 400. We're going to go with that. So 
So the question is, Session presents Jack, Terry Jacks, which of these songs was his biggest hit? Me and You and My Dog Named Boo, Sunshine, It Never Rained in Southern California, and, or Seasons in the Sun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Tiffany, Tiffany has guessed. Does anybody else want to guess? And you guys shouldn't have a problem with taking a guess because it is multiple choice. So I'm going to give it a second just in case any of you guys' screens are delayed at the moment. Okay, last one. Okay. And someone else guessed, I'm just going to give you the answer. Seasons in the Sun is the answer. No one got it right. <laughs> My mother got it right. He wants y'all to know. Okay, I don't know where the mouse disappeared. There we go. The answer was Seasons of the Sun. So you guys can go ahead and choose your category. Seventies two hundred has already been taken. Remember the ones that are still blue colored are still up for grabs, and the ones that are in the purplish color are not. Okay, two thousand. In early 2001, British group S Club blanked achieved the top 10 success in the U.S. with Never Had a Dream Come True. So you guys, hi Jay Renee, how are you? So we are playing Jeopardy, J. Renee, and the question you see is on the screen, and you guys have to fill in the blank. Okay. I'm glad you're doing fine. I'm doing well. So, does anyone else want to guess before I reveal the answer? Someone said seven. Okay, so we have a seven and a five. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal the answer. Since two people have already guessed. And Jay Renee is right with seven as the answer. Hi, little Tadlers and King. Uh, Tadlers and King, Taylor's not an actual content creator. <laughs> it's okay. There's more questions. 
Brown girl fell on. So if she doesn't respond to you, that's why, because Taylor is not an actual content creator. And as well as I know, people are having trouble. Because YouTube has it blocked. If you want to know more about the YouTube issue and can give you more details, I'm pretty sure, I know for a fact that the Cracker Way talked about it on her live earlier today. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Vern's Junk Closet probably talked about it in her live. So you guys may choose a category. And Taylor says 90s 400. In the 1990s, which American dance group had an international hit song, Groovy is in your heart? Well, I'm glad you're back, Jay Blessing. <laughs> so which dance group had the international hit, Groovy is in your heart? Okay, Taylor's already answered. Does anyone else want to try it? <laughs> okay. Everybody's answered. D D light, which is true. So Taylor gets the point because she was first. You guys can go ahead and let me know your category. <laughs> yes, Pizza Live Strong, you have a very extensive CD collection, so I'm pretty sure some of these songs you have somewhere. <laughs> So does anyone want to choose a category? There is a few more questions you guys can pick from. There's three in the 2000s category you can pick from. There's one 90s question left. There's two 80s questions left. And there's one 70s question. Okay, 70s question for 500 as it is. In 1979, which duo had the Billboard Top 40 number one hit, No More Tears, Enough is Enough. So which pop duo in 1979 had the top 40 number one hit, No More Tears, Enough is Enough?
So we're looking for the duo. Does anyone want to take a guess? If not, I will just reveal the answer. You guys just have to let me know. <laughs> okay. Taylor says Donna Summer. Barbara Streisand. Since Taylor is the only answer I see. I'm going to reveal it. And she is correct with Donna Summers and Barbara Streisand. So congratulations to you, Taylor, for getting the answer correct. <laughs> Eat to live strong, it was Barbara Streisand and Okay, where's else? It disappeared. No, it did not. Next time we'll do this on the white background. And you already said 80s 400, so I'm going to go with that. In 1986, which Billboard Hot 100 number was the number one song for the Bengals? So, what was the Bengals' number one song? Okay, Taylor says walk like an Egyptian. Eat a little strong says we got the beat. Now that she said that, now we got the beat is playing over and over in my head. And I'm going to reveal the answer. And Taylor's right with walk like an Egyptian. Manic Monday, but Walk Like Egyptian was the correct answer. You guys may choose a category. So how about I choose a category for you all? I am going to choose 90s 500 for you guys. Okay, so the question is for 90s 500, all you need is your own imagination, so use it. 
That's what it's for. Who sang these lyrics? So who sang the lyrics? All you need is your own imagination. So use it. That's what it's for. Who sang these lyrics? Nope. Nope. That's not what I said. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have someone that answered the question. Taylor says, Madonna. Does anyone else want to take a shot before I reveal the answer? Okay, I don't see any other responses. So, when... I'm going to reveal the answer now. And Taylor's right with Madonna. So congratulations, Taylor. Okay. We're going to go back to this. So we can go from the beginning and you guys can see the board. So Taylor was right with Madonna. And... There is only four questions left in this game. Thank you for still being here, Tiffany. And I thank you all for coming because I know there's an issue with YouTube where you can't click on a person's channel if you are trying to connect with them. So I really appreciate you guys for being here. So, no. And the if you guys don't know, Eat to Live Strong and Tiffany both have lives coming up tonight. Eat to Live Strong is that? No, I just want some fruit. Eat to Live Strong is at 8 p.m. Tiffany is at 9 p.m. So I'm not sure what they're talking about tonight, but I'm sure they will both have great discussions. And we'll learn something. But Itala Strong wants to do strawberries. Okay, hold on. We I lost the whole thing. And we're going to go back and choose the category that Itala Strong suggested. And here we go. And to click over for you guys. It's a little delayed. And I don't know why, but it's okay. And we're going to go back, choose her question, because I know you guys probably saw the answer, but here's the question. So the question is, in the 1980s, who had the Billboard Top 40 pop single number one hit, Funky Town? So who had the top hit, Funky Town? And he's a little strong, got it right, so she gets a point. And I know the answer was probably already shown, but that's okay. This is new. 
So, we're just going to run through the last three questions. And, guys, please let me know if you like this or not. Because if you don't, we do not have to do this again. <laughs> well, here is the question. Well, Ink to Live Strong, as soon as you're ready to go live, we... <laughs> she wants to take 500, so let's go back. Oh, there's the question for you. I will take the 500. There's the question. I had already clicked on it. So the question is, I am a young female soul on soul R&B artist and songwriter who's become the best selling R&B artist in 2001 with my song in the minor. For instant success, capture what is my name? Taylor said Alicia Keys, but I'm gonna give see what else other people come up with. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, Cross and Jean. We're playing Jeopardy. You went checking on the food. All right. So, since someone already answered this question, we're just going to go for the answer. Eat a little strong. Let us know what you're cooking over there. Because I am curious when you come back. And Taylor is right with Alicia Keys. And Tiffany, you were right too, but Taylor got it before you. So, we're just going to go to the 400 question. Okay, so the 400 cat question in this category of 2000 music is what songs are following the lyrics from I live the day of the war I live the night of love I suffered to survive I gotta gotta stay away I gotta gotta stay alive I hear the battle cries the fists we are in the sky. I know what I'm fighting for. So those are the song lyrics, and you have to tell me what song is this from? So the question was, what song is this, these lyrics are from? Does no one want to guess what song these lyrics are from? Just let me know and I'll show you the answer.
and we will see. Since no one has taken a shot at the answer, from what I can tell on my end, I'm just going to show you the song. The song is No More Secrets. We have one more question left on the board. Taylor Papa's Coach Light Love. The song was No More Secrets. Taylor, I'm pretty sure you got the artist right. So, our last question is this. And lucky for you guys, it's a multiple choice question. Name this song. Drip through the hallway because we started in the shower. We didn't finish it until it hit the kitchen counter. So, can you guys name the song? Where the lyrics come from? <laughs> yeah. You lost me since no one else has answered. I'm shaking your head. Most of these answers I did not know either. I just tried to do a mix of multiple choice, and some you guys just had to guess. Tried to mix it up. Hmm, yeah, there's a hundred ways, and I don't see anyone else's comment. So, I will show you guys the last answer. Um, Taylor, I mixed up the answers, but I do know the answer to this question, and it is a hundred ways, so Taylor is right. And Taylor wins, so Taylor. You have to let me know when you are ready to let me know. It doesn't have to be today. It would have to be tomorrow. If you do not know today. What you want the next topic to be that we discuss. I also want to know, did you guys enjoy this Jeopardy? And would this be something you guys want to do again? But just with different different category. Well, I thank you still for being here. I know everybody is not coming to lives at this point because of YouTube issues, but this is not going to stop us from doing what we love to do. And I love spending time with you all, getting to know what you have to say. Uh, 
Okay. Well, Taylor has chosen what we are going to do next. She wants to do on Saturday. She wants to do... I'm going to put it on the screen. She wants to do book or food trivia from cities to cities. Thank you. So, I, I know some of you are in here are book club fans. So, book and food trivia from cities to countries is what we will do on Saturday at 3 p.m. But if somebody wants to let us know if they have upcoming content or just wants to let us know anything, we can discuss that and anything else you want to talk about in Strong. I know you're in the background cooking, but when you're ready to go live, please let me know. And I also want to know, did you guys enjoy this whole Jeopardy thing? I'm glad you're still here. I know all of you have seen a lot of you've been doing pretty table escapes lately. I've been surfing everyone's channel. I've been seeing new makeup from people. I've been seeing best of tablescapes from people. Oh, and someone said yes. So we will do Jeopardy again since someone said they like it. Um. Eat to Live Strong said she was going live at 8. Tiffany, you usually go live at 9. So Eat to Live Strong is going live at 8, from what my understanding is, and she's somewhere in the background, so I'm sure when she comes back from in the kitchen, she will correct me if I'm wrong. But Tiffany, you usually go live at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Eat Live Strong said she was going live at 8 p.m. Oh, so you, well, Tiffany, Eat Live Strong says she's going live at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you guys do have the same time if I am I am sure of it now. So I will have my tabs open for both of you. Yeah. So you and her will be live at the same time, Tiffany. So I will have both tabs open for both of you since you guys are going live. Okay, she said she corrected it in the crockery as well. So, what I suggest for all of you in this live that you set your thank you for having me on your phone. Okay, so. So you both can have your 9 o'clock spot. I will have you both open. You're welcome. I will have you both open. Two tabs. 
I'm glad you're here, Crackaway. Everybody enjoyed Jeopardy, and they want to do it again. Taylor. Taylor won our Jeopardy game, and she chose our topic for the live at, on Saturday at 3 p.m. She chose book trivia and food from cities and countries. So I will be making a new Jeopardy board with book trivia and food from city and countries based off of Taylor winning today's Jeopardy game. And if any of you are curious how I did that, how I made the Jeopardy game, I will be gladly to show you. So, just let me know if anybody wants to know how I've done that. So, if you guys want to do a Jeopardy sort of thing or need something to create on your own. Yeah, so Taylor has chosen our topic. So I will be creating a new Jeopardy board. For okay, Eat to Live Strong is letting us know that today's world has a premiere going on at 7.45 tonight. I will be pulling her up at 7.45. I'm going to make sure we get our two hours in just for watch time purposes. And I will be trying to pull her up on the screen. Hopefully. Now that each of them strong, let us know what is going on. So, if anybody wants to come up and tell us about their upcoming content or some information that we all need to know. Thank you, Crocker, for sharing me out. We can do so if you would like to come up and tell us about your content or something positive or just want to give some encouraging words the link is in the chat and it is always fun to hang out with all of you because y'all always give me ideas for topics or games that we can play or something like that okay need to live strong say she is working Working on her Fiesta Friday video, and the Crockett Way is backstage, so I'm going to bring her up right now. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hi. Hello, my love. Hello, how are you? I'm great. Jasmine, thank you so much for allowing me to come on your panel. I appreciate that. No. <laughs> I think you're frozen. I think you have to come out and go back. Let's see. She unfrozen yet. Okay, there we go. We're gonna click on the second one. Okay, here we go. Girl, this room right here, exit out. <laughs> Hi, Alvi. Hey, I click look, she's still trying to exit stuff out. Move, mama. Move it. So, um, like I was saying, thank you for inviting, um, opening up the floor. So, um, I want to come on and I want to, mama, stop. Um, I want to encourage everybody everywhere I go, y'all. Listen, listen, listen. Family, I know these are some tough times for us right now, but it is going to be okay, y'all. It's going to be all right. I want to just encourage everybody, and every time there's an opportunity to come on a platform, I'm jumping on. Just to encourage everybody to continue to support live streams. Continue to support them, guys. 
Um, those of you who go live, continue to go live. Don't let what's going on in these YouTube streets deter you in any, I'm trying to stay away from the baby, in any way at all. Keep going, keep moving. Don't stop, don't slow down for nothing and for nobody, okay? These are some trying times for all of us everywhere we go, but we got this. What does the Bible say? Or is it, the, I don't know if it's the Bible. Yes, the Bible says, the race is not giving to the swift nor to the strong, but to the one who endures. So as long as you don't give up, as long as you don't faint, as long as you don't pass out, as long as you don't stop, as long as you don't quit, you're gonna make it. So continue to support live streamers and continue to go live live streamers. We're gonna get there guys. Even if this change is permanent, there's probably a good reason for it. We're gonna just keep going. So continue to encourage each other to keep going, keep motivating, keep inspiring and keep supporting because I'm not gonna give up on any of you guys. So please don't give up on yourselves. I love y'all so much. And Jasmine, I love you girl. Oh mm -hmm. my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So God bless you all. Kurosi G says, yes, everything will be okay. Tiffany says, that's right, the crack it way. <laughs> so um, keep doing what you're doing. And Jasmine, again, I'm so sorry I'm late. I was actually over at Vern's Junk Closet and mm -hmm. her live stream was shut down in the middle. I heard it people talking yes, about that. It was shut down and no rules were violated. So we were actually... The crazy thing is, is that even though the live shut down on YouTube, the people who were on the panel on and um, on um, what's this thing called StreamYard, we mm -hmm. we remained on the panel, so we were still talking to each other. Oh my goodness! Yes, yeah, trying to figure it out. So that's where I was at. So uh, again, I'm sorry mm -hmm. I'm late. Um, if I have to rewatch it, I will rewatch it so you get your hours. What, baby? You know what? Y'all, y'all come get no, me. Mr. Crocky. Come get him, y'all. Come get him. <laughs> um, yeah, his birthday Sunday. His birthday's on Easter. Mm, yeah, but um, Jasmine says happy birthday, Mr. Crockett. And she says, Stop acting up. <laughs> oh, I need Mr. Cody your phone. Oh, thank you, Jasmine. He says, Thank you, You're Jasmine. Where's my phone at, babe? Okay, but Jasmine, I'm gonna get off this phone, off this thing, girl, because I'm like Tiffany, girl, we can talk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. I love you and I love y'all. Oh, um, I do have a, a recent upload. Oh. We uploaded um yes the day before yesterday. So guys go check it out. Um, what is it? Your what anniversary is? video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, go check our anniversary upload and we'll be up um uploading a new video, hopefully tomorrow or saturday um of sana's hair tutorial sana has locks and i did a tutorial on it so um check it out guys and i hope you are going to do the five minute makeup challenge because i'm gonna I'm do it recording that video this weekend and Yay! i was going to challenge you to do it in the video okay i'm gonna wait for you <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry y'all i'm looking for my phone i don't see it honey Call it. No, I hope oh, I'm so you, know <laughs> you have time to prepare. Thank you, Jasmine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Definitely <laughs> challenge me. All right, girl, I'm going to jump down. Love y'all. Mm -hmm. Love you too. All right, girl. Wow, I did not know that. So we've learned some information, but I definitely agree with the crack away where she says we all have to stay positive. <laughs> and, and I would say sometimes the best way to stay positive is just reminding yourself things you like about yourself. So if that means you have to stick your little self-affirmations on the bathroom mirror, your closet, your bedroom door, or just somewhere where you see it, you just have to keep doing that. Because we all realize that things are going to constantly change. 
nothing ever remains the same forever. So if things are already changing, that just means we have to find a way to adjust and adapt as your comments are coming. I am, Carol CG, I am already doing the five minute makeup challenge. I was challenged by Candy C. She hit me up in one of my comments on one of my videos and challenged me to do it. So I am going to film that this weekend and I am challenging three people in the video, including the Crackaway. And since three people are already in here, even though I'm gonna post a video and challenge them, I'm gonna tell them now. So they have time to prepare after I post my video. Hopefully I can get it posted by Saturday. So in my video, when I do the five minute makeup challenge, I am challenging Tiffany Chanel. I am challenging the crack away and eat to live strong in that video. So now that all three ladies know, they have time to prepare for this five minute makeup challenge. And if they don't remember after this live, when they see the video on Saturday, they will know they have been challenged. Yes, old boy is right. I've never done my makeup in five minutes, even though I feel as though I have the simplest. Oh, and Tiffany's backstage. Let's see what Tiffany has to say. Hello. Hey, Jasmine Easley. How are you? <laughs> oh, wait, let me mute the YouTube so I'm not disturbing y'all. Um, okay, can you hear me? Yes. How are you doing, girl? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <Yeah>. chat. <laughs> Look, I had to, first of all, thank you for letting us come on your platform. I, I can't let anybody no. up right now because StreamYard is, is out of hours, the, the free version. <laughs> but once that month circulates, then I can start doing that again. But yeah. I just I paid had to come for the full version. Oh, you went ahead and just paid for it, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> How much is it? Is it like 20 something a month? Yep, it's 25 a month. I know, I'm not paying. <laughs> you look, y'all know how I am with the finances. Um, oh, yeah. Baby, y'all look, whenever she see me talking to the family, she's like, mommy, see me? She wasn't even talking to me. I was like, baby, sit on my lap. Come kiss mommy. She's like, no, I don't want to. And then as soon as I start talking to my computer, it's like, hey, mommy, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> anyway, I, um, I had to come on here because I saw Karosi's Kar um, message about the the challenge, and I heard you, Jasmine. Y'all know I'm not doing no makeup challenge. I'm yes, you are. Y'all, look, I'm starting yes, to think that people don't like my content, right? Because Why? my content is about being fit in your finances, <laughs> inside your body, and in your thoughts. Where would my makeup <laughs> video be? Your makeup has to do with your body. Even though you're talking about the inside, you can't forget about the outside sometimes. So it fits. Yes, it does. You would make it sound like that. I don't yes, think I anybody would. wants to see me do anything. Yes, they makeup. do. Yes, they do. <laughs> I That's challenge you because I want to see it. Each of strong over in the comments talking about she rarely wear makeup, but she getting challenged too. So she's going to have to figure that one out. Look, guys. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna you know what if I can once I am monetized I will branch out and maybe I'll do a makeup video no <laughs> no <laughs> but um I do have other plans though for um I'm sorry Jasmine did you want us to talk about anything in particular or is it okay to talk no, about our channel I just want to Okay, baby. Yes, she 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 wants y'all to see her coloring book, but we can't stay in the video too long because this isn't a children's channel, and we're not trying to get taken down. So, um, I 
I am going to go live tonight. Eat to live strong. I will have you pulled up too, because I know we're going live at the same time. Um, during the live, I, I would like to try some new things out um, so people can still network and grow. Um, it's going to take my mods help though. Um, but I want to try something a little different, some things that I'm seeing on some other um, big YouTubers and what they're doing. I'm going to try to mimic it a little bit, but in a slightly different way. Um, and hopefully, hopefully people can still grow, but it's going to have to be it's going to have to be genuine, right? Because now it's not like you can click and go to the channel and hit the S button. Now you have to be honest about and And now it's just kind of like, okay, this is the only people we're working on at this time. And then this is the only people we're working on at this time. That way everybody works on a person, that person's numbers should grow. And then every so many minutes or seconds or whatever it is, we work on the next person. So I'm like, okay, whoever's in the live first, we're going to work on you first. However, the caveat is, is when we start working on people, um, the person has to say, I'm here. So that means you can't just piece in and piece back out. <laughs> so I'm going to try to figure it out because it's got to, it's got to work for the people that come to the live and it's got to work for the person that has the live. Since I'm not monetized, I can't do the super chat where someone gives a super chat and the mods can see, visually see and put their, you know, their, their links up. So I have to do it. I have to think outside of the box and do it differently for those of us who are not yet monetized. Um, mm -hmm. Pray for me, but we gonna see how it works. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're taking on the challenge. And if it's successful for you, I'm gonna give the shot. But I wasn't <laughs> trying to take that shot today. Making that PowerPoint <laughs> and figuring out how that was gonna work with the challenge. Girl, you That's did good with that Jeopardy game. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. I Googled okay. how to do that. <laughs> Look. Google is my friend too. You on um, Vernice's um, live today, someone said um, to Google your name, and so I Googled my name and I I hashtagged my name and Googled it, and um, my YouTube videos pop up. How about that? Oh, I haven't tried that yet because usually when I Google my name, it comes up from everybody that has my name and that lives in a different state. And apparently, my last name is considered a small town in North Carolina which I did not find out till the other day. So my last oh, name is literally fine. a town. <laughs> Below 150 girl. people I've never met. I love it. That's cool. <laughs> my name is common too, but it it's not my first and last name. It's my first and middle name. And that's mm -hmm. how you'll find my YouTube videos. So if you find your, if, if the name of your um, channel is Jasmine Easley and you Google yourself and your videos pop up, that means you are in the algorithm. And that's another thing. I think, I think I'm going to go deep on my money makeover Mondays. We, I was going to talk about couponing, but I think I'm going to go deep in the algorithm and SEO because as small content creators, now we have to enter, get in that algorithm. Um, <laughs> if we really want to shine. <laughs> yeah. And I'm definitely going to need your explanation for that because I know nothing about that. Okay, I'll, I'll do that on my Money Makeover Monday. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. I have some examples to show people on what I did to get into the algorithm and and to show you evidence of me still being in the algorithm. One of my videos, I got I got. I got pushed down the algorithm. So I decided I was like, okay, let me go update this. Let me go update that. Made updates to my description and tags and got back in the algorithm. But I guess somebody else, like those big content creators that have hundreds of thousands of followers, they're constantly checking their heavy hitting videos. And so I think they saw that they had moved back down. And so they went and changed their stuff. And now I've been pushed back down. It is a game. <laughs> It definitely is. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you, girl, but um, you. I enjoyed talking to you. You too. Okay, take care. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> no, that was Tiffany. Hello. So you heard it from Tiffany herself. She's going to teach you 
how to get and how to stay in the YouTube algorithm now that YouTube has this whole new agenda for the time being. But as far as I'm concerned, nothing lasts forever, so I don't see this lasting too long with the whole YouTube thing. And hello, Brandon. Thank you for joining us. So, now what you guys have to do is when Tiffany and Eat to Live Strong go live, you have to open two tabs because Eat to Live Strong is going to be talking about whatever she chooses and Tiffany's going to be talking about, it's Thursday, I forgot what her Thursday topics are, whatever she chooses. So, you guys are going to have to open two tabs to support both of them. And Eat to Live Strong, you are not getting out of this five-minute makeup challenge. It's going to be fun to watch you do the challenges that you normally do, don't do. That's the whole fun part about it, at least for me. Ah, Tiffany says it's Thankful Thursday. So you guys have to join her for that. And we all have an interesting way of doing makeup. It doesn't have to be too complicated. It's always something simple because we are all always in a rush. So I think five minutes should be just enough time to do the basic things when you're trying to hurry up out the door. Hmm. Usually what I do in five minutes includes the eyes. Because I believe when you're doing your makeup, for me at least, my eyes are the most important. I usually don't care about the foundation, the concealer, or anything else. My eyes are the most important because I consider... Hello, Frandy Productions. How are you? Thank you for joining us. We play Jeopardy tonight, and we are happy to have you here. And I dropped the link. Or anyone that wants to come up and share either whether it's about their channel, something new that they are doing. So I'm going to drop it again just in case. But as I was saying, I think I can do my makeup quick because I've never tried it in five minutes, so that's gonna be interesting. Even when I recorded that whole birthday makeup thing, it took like 20 minutes. Okay, I don't know what that means, Frankie Productions. But here, we show love. We do not beg for love because we all support each other. And if you give it, it will be received. But what I suggest, Okay, she said she's going to do it. Thank you. What I suggest you do is check out the person's content before you decide do you want to join their family. So check out their video, watch it in full, leave a comment, and do it the correct way. And if you enjoy their content, Become a part of their family. Hello, Inspiration. How are you? I'm buffering. Okay, it looks clear on my end. Hopefully, the buffering will stop. She will be right back, people. So... I know everyone is homeschooling at the moment and they are finding 
things to watch on TV. I'm glad you're back. I dropped the link for anyone that wants to come up. I know everybody says that, OCG, that they spend the most time on their eyebrows. But I... Yes. I am doing fine. And I hope you get off of work soon so you can get home and get some rest because I know you work them 12-hour shifts. So, what Karasa G is saying for anyone that's trying to show her love, if you do it the right way, she will see it and get back to you. She's busy doing something. But I know everybody says they take forever on their eyebrows, but I've never understood why it takes people so long to do their eyebrows though. I guess filling them in, making sure they look as even as possible because you hear a lot of the beauty community say your eyebrows are not twins, they're not sisters, they're some more like cousins, so I guess your eyebrows will take the longest, or at least, and I guess you have to conceal them, clean them up, and fill them in. Usually, oh, thank you for leaving me running, and enjoy family Bible study. So, I am going to see who is live at the moment and find out who is live at the moment. So, if you guys have any questions, you can ask. Them while well, I try to find someone for us to raid, and I hope whoever we decide to raid, you will go and hang out with them and see what they're up to. And as the Crocker Way mentioned, we still have to support each other. Even if you can only stay for 15 minutes, it will be enjoyed. Or just even if you only can stay for a second and give them a thumbs up, that will be wonderful too. So I'm going to go through my phone and see who is live. So give me a second and you guys can ask. Um, Brandon, you cannot go on. Okay, you to live strong. If you already have the link to prepare for Shane's world, can you just drop it in the chat? Since she's premiering now, if you already have the link ready to go, we can go over to Shane's world premiere. Just let me know if you have it. Or I can try and find it. And let's remember that I will be back here on live with you guys at 3 p.m. on Saturday. And we're going to do another round of Jeopardy based off of what Taylor suggested, which was books and food trivia. And Eat to Live Strong just dropped a the link for Shay's World premiere. So I want you guys to go over to Shay's World premiere, type in Jasmine Easily Raid, 
Thank you, Ethel Strong, for dropping her link. And type in Jasmine Easley Raid, and let's go see what her premiere is about. Shades World always has the most amazing food. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a new video. And I will see you again at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday for another live. Have a good night. Don't forget to type in Jasmine Easily Raid when you go over to Shay's World Premiere. Thank you and have a good night. Bye, everyone.